using W equals mg to calculate weight, part 1. Remember, mass is the measure of how much matter an object contains. Mass is measured in kilograms, and is a scale of quantity. Weight is the force acting on an object's mass due to gravitational attraction. Weight is a vector as it has magnitude and direction and is measured in newtons. The weight and mass are directly proportional. This means that as one quantity increases, the other quantity increases at the same rate. The greater the mass of the object, the greater its weight. Let's take some data to prove this pattern. So with a mass of zero kilograms, we have a weight of zero newtons. A mass of one kilograms would give us a weight of 10 newtons. 2 kilograms, 20 newtons, 3 kilograms, 30 newtons. Four kilograms is 40 newtons, five kilograms is 50 newtons, and six kilograms is 60 newtons. To show that weight and mass are directly proportional and to identify the pattern, we will plot out the data onto a graph with weight on the y-axis and mass on the x-axis. So let's plot our points onto our graph. Our first point is at zero, zero. The second point will have a weight of 10 newtons and a mass of one kilogram. The second point, 20 newtons and two kilograms. Then we have 30 newtons and three kilograms, 40 newtons and four kilograms, 50 newtons and five kilograms, 60 newtons and six kilograms. To show the pattern of these points, we will then draw a line of best fit. This will help us identify the trend of our data. The graph shows that the weight and mass are directly proportional. This is shown by the graph by the straight line that goes through the origin. From the graph, we can conclude that the greater the mass of the object, the greater its weight will be. Weight is the force of gravitational attraction on a mass. We can calculate the weight using the following formula. Weight is equal to mass times gravitational field strength. The units of weight are newtons. Mass is kilograms. Gravitational field strength is meters per second squared. Every object that has mass has a gravitational field strength. The larger the mass of a planet, the stronger the gravitational field strength. You will be given the gravitational field strength in each question to use. The units of gravitational field strength are newtons per kilogram or meters per second squared. Let's apply the formula. Calculate the weight of the box that has a mass of 50 kilograms. The gravitational field strength is equal to 10 meters per second squared. Step one, we write the values with the appropriate units. Mass is equal to 50 kilograms. Gravitational field strength is equal to 10 meters per second squared. Step two, we write our formula. W is equal to m times g. Step three, we substitute and calculate. W is equal to 50 times 10, which is equal to 500 newtons. Let's now see what happens to the mass of an object at a different location. Calculate the weight of a spacesuit worn by an astronaut walking on the moon. The suit has a mass of 80 kilograms and the gravitational field strength on the moon is 1.6 meters per second squared. Step one, write the values with the appropriate units. We have a mass of 80 kilograms and the gravitational field strength on the moon is equal to 1.6 meters per second squared. Step two, we write our formula. W is equal to m times g. Step three, we substitute and calculate. W is equal to 80 times 1.6, which gives us an answer of 128 newtons. Summary. Weight is the force of gravitational attraction on a mass. Weight is a vector as it has magnitude and direction and is measured in newtons. We can calculate your weight using the following formula. Weight is equal to mass times gravitational field strength.